Hey, this is me, Izirok. I'm a big League of Legends fan on desktop and just recently it was released on mobile devices with the name Wild Rift. I will play Wild Rift on iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPod Pro 10.5 inch from 2017 and M1 MacBook Air. Let's see how different is the experience on each of the devices and which one is more suitable for this game. Like, subscribe and thanks for watching my videos. Straight away you can see that we have 60 frames per second. I skip straight away to the busy scene in my game. This is truly incredible, now we have League of Legends on mobile phones. Now after you played League of Legends on your desktop, you can have a rest and play League of Legends on mobile device. What is even scarier that this League of Legends looks way better than desktop version. And I'm dead. I absolutely have no idea what is going on on the minimap. And by the way, I have almost perfect vision. Artifacts are still all the same. We will need more HP for Garen. The map itself is way smaller than on original game. But I'm very surprised how smooth gameplay is. And zero glitches so far. Yes, I'm looking at you, Cyberpunk 2077. Yep, I'm still angry at Cyberpunk 2077 and I won't continue playing it until they will fix the game. Okay, back to Wild Rift. Even here, solid 60 frames per second. Wow. This is jaw-dropping experience, incredible. But there is one problem, everything is so tiny, oh my god. As you can see, Nexus doesn't have turrets. And these bots are really, really tough. Okay, they changed jungle a little bit. Now the problem, I don't do jungle a lot. Well, Ali, no more. You won't get away this time! Okay, I almost killed you. Wait, what? Oh my god, this epic kill still. Well, at least I'll get the red buff. Wait, what? Okay, now it's time for iPad Pro 10.5 inch 2017. And again, we have solely 60 frames per second on ultra settings. This game is almost absolutely playable. Why almost? Because I'm still missing keyboard and mouse. How can I send my character somewhere while I'm checking minimap here and there? How fast I can flash away from a big fight while I'm using two fingers? How can I make minimap a little bit bigger? Why Nexus by itself one big turret? If this fast-paced game Will they include Nasus? I have so many questions and hopefully I will get some answers soon.
it's quite difficult to control this game this way. But seriously, for a mobile game, this is incredible. Oh, you have hit points of what you're hitting right now in this game on top. Nice. But it is hard to get used to these controls. Overall, I'll give to this iPad Pro solid 10. Gameplay is very unusual for me, but very enjoyable. But iPad is quite big device, it will be difficult to hold it for 20 minutes during the match. And I would say I would prefer to play this game on the phone or on the desktop. Well, this was Wild Rift on iPad Pro, now let's see how it will work on M1 MacBook Air. Straight away you can see that I play this game in the window. This is only because you cannot make this window any bigger or smaller. Almost you cannot, you won't believe me, but I found a way. But before, let's see those frames. This game can run at solid 60 frames per second on everything on Ultra. The only thing what's left to do is to optimize the operating system. And now as you can see with the magic of scaling we have bigger window. But it is very difficult to play with the trackpad only in this game. Difficult to the point where it is unplayable. And I don't believe that this game will be optimized for M1 chip. Of course since we have desktop version. But I'm still disappointed how disgusting is experience with iPhones or iPads apps. Hopefully, why hopefully, Apple must fix this issue with the next update. FPS is great, MacBook Air is amazing, experience is disgusting. In my opinion, iPhone 11 Pro Max is the best device for Wild Rift. iPod will be just a little bit too heavy for this game, but still solid 60 frames per second on maximum settings. The M1 MacBook Air is absolutely disgusting, and I hope for updates for macOS. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Пока!